Today we're going to use Typeform, Airtable, and Trello to create an automated product feedback system. We're going to assume that you've done a few things here, that you've got N8N up and running, and that you're using the tunnel option. This is so that you can get access to N8N from behind a firewall. Uh, we're going to assume that you've got your Typeform account created and that the form has already been built. And you have your Airtable account created and that the table is already built and you've already got your Trello account working and those credentials are all, all set up. So for this workflow, we are going to be using six nodes, um, the type form trigger, the uh, set, the Airtable, the if, the Trello, and the no op nodes. By the time we're done, our workflow should look something like this. So let's start off with the type form trigger. The type form trigger uh, allows us to receive information from any form that we use in Typeform. So all we need to do is grab our credentials, which we've already set up ahead of time. We, we know we're going to use the access token and that we're going to use the feedback form. Let's close this and quickly save our flow as feedback. The reason that we save the workflow is that we can't test any triggers unless they are already working in a saved workflow. So we're going to get rid of our start node because we don't really need it. And we're just going to keep our type form trigger here. One last save. And let's see if this works. So we're going to execute the node, which will run it 120 seconds. And we'll start adding in some information. So we'll go John Devo. And his email address is john at doe.com. Uh, didn't really like it. And only going to give it a three star. And submit. Let's go back to our feedback form. You can see that all that information is already available to us in N8N. It's perfect. On to the next one. So the next is our set node. I'm just going to add that set node in here. So the set node is actually going to be used to configure the proper values that we want to go into uh, both our Trello and our Airtable uh, table. So we're going to be creating the name, the email, the description, and the score. And we're just going to be doing it like this. So first we'll start off with the name. And this is going to be an expression. So we're going to add the expression in and we're going to pull it from the type form trigger. So the name is John Doe right there. So as you can see, it says using the type form trigger node in the JSON, look for what is your name? And here's the results that it'll put up. We're going to pause for a moment here and talk a little bit about expressions. Expressions are used to represent information that is constantly changing as we go about working within the workflow and different information comes through, the value of the expression will change depending upon the information that it is given. This is why expressions are so powerful. They allow us to constantly be working with different information and getting different results. And that's it. So let's do that for the other ones. Next one would be email. And we're gonna do the same thing. Add the expression work our way through the nodes. And there's his email address right there. I'm going to add another one. And this is going to be called the description. Again, we'll add the expression. Not too good. And then the last one is going to be a little bit different. It's a number because this is going to be the score. So one thing you'll note that's a little bit different than the other ones, because this is a number, it already has a zero in it. So we have to delete the zero. Then we can go in and pull up the score. There it is. Exactly what we wanted. Now we're also going to do one other thing. We're going to set the keep only set trigger or sorry, uh, toggle. The reason that we're going to keep this is because 
it will prevent any data that's coming through from other nodes to get past this node. So that way we're only getting the good clean data that we're looking for. All right, let's give this a try. And perfect. Score, name, email, and description as we want it. Wonderful. So onto the Airtable node. So the Airtable node is going to allow us to put the information that we receive into an Airtable table. We are going to do an append operation because we want the information to add to the table as it is entered. Now we need to figure out what the base ID is. So what we do is we're going to go to this web page here. And we need to find our feedback table. There it is. So this is our base ID. And we need to make sure that we feed this into here. Then we need to put in the name of our table, which we've called feedback. And that should be everything we need. So let's execute this node and see if, if this works properly. We see that we've got all the fields going in that we want, plus some additional information, the ID of the uh, event that occurred and the date and time that it occurred. So let's go take a look at our feedback table and see if it's there. Oh, there it all is. Excellent, exactly like we wanted. So we can close our Airtable node. Now we're gonna come up to our if node. So the if node uh, basically does some logic for us and will do different things based on the input that it's receiving. So we wanna take a look and uh, make sure that we are looking at a number. So we've got, basically what this is showing us here is that it's gonna compare value one to value two and trigger true when the value one is less than value two. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna, in the very first one, we're gonna add the expression and we're gonna pull this from our set node. And we're gonna look at our score. And again, see, we've got a zero here, so we've gotta delete that. And it just goes to show that you can delete it before or after. It doesn't matter. It'll work the exact same way. And so we've got the value three in there. It automatically figures that out. So this will change every time we get a different entry put into the system. And we want to make sure that it is smaller than seven. So you can do this two ways. You can either just type it in like I just did or use these minus plus buttons to give you the information you want. So let's see how this deals with the information that we just received. So it's saying that it, the number three was smaller than number seven and it would output it to true. And this is the information it would output to the system. Wonderful. So now what are we gonna do with it? Well, if it's true, so it's basically and we've got a low score, we want to add it into Trello so that it will assign it to somebody to do something. So let's take a look at Trello, it's Trello. And here's our Trello credentials. And uh, we're going to create a card. So these are all exactly what we want. And now we've got to go to the list ID. So the list ID is a little interesting to dig up. So just follow me here. So we're going to go into our Trello board. I've already got the where I want it to go. It was low ratings. And I've got a list ID here. So this has some, oops. As you open up this card and we have to add JSON to the end of the URL. That's this URL up here. Press enter and we've got to look for the field called ID list. So we're just going to change this to JSON. Wonderful. And we're looking for ID list. There it is. And we're just going to copy that. Great. Let's go back here. So now, what are we going to call this card? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to cheat a little bit. We're going to grab this expression. 
from our documentation. And so what this tells us is we're going to use the if node and we're going to find the, uh, the field of score. And the if node, we're going to find the field name. And we're going to put some brackets around them. And this is the output we get. So you can paste information straight into the expression field rather than manually creating it going through the nodes. You can still go through the nodes. They're all there still. But this way is a bit a quicker way to do it and get the results that you want. Great. So we've got the name. Description, we're going to do something very similar. So we're just going to copy this. We're going to add an expression. And we're going to paste it in as well. And there's all of our information the way we want it to, to show up. Great. Now let's try this out. There's a whole bunch of information that it puts into here. This is good. This is telling us that everything works properly. So if we go back into our get list, and there it is. There's John Doe created as we expected. So we're almost done. We're just going to move our Trello node up here. And we have one more node to add, and that's the no op node. So the no op node does nothing, absolutely nothing. But it is very useful if you are developing some of the uh, workflows, because what it'll do is it can tell you, in this instance, for example, that um, if this were to trigger false, it would actually go green. Um, you can also use it for putting in notes or comments. So it's actually pretty useful, even though it actually doesn't do anything. All right, so our final workflow looks just like this. Great, so let's save this. And we're just gonna clear it out a little bit. Now, we wanna test out our workflow to make sure it's all working properly. But before we do that, we need to activate this workflow. So we'll just activate here, click yes, activate and save, and we should be good to go. So let's go and test out our workflow and see how it works. So we'll start out with our with Jane Doe and Jane at doe.com for her email. This is awesome. She really liked it. She gave it a nine and submit. So as you can see, we've got our, our Jane Doe showed up in our feedback and, uh, and that uh, she did not create a new Trello card because Jane liked it and it was above a seven, right? So she went through the trigger form and the set, air table, added it in, went to the if, did not hit uh, below a seven and went to the no op. All right, let's try this again. But let's do this with a somebody that did not like it. Jill Doe. So Jill at doe.com. Uh, horrible. And Jill's going to give it a two. All right. Now you notice this time that we Jill did show up in feedback as well within the database table. But Jill also showed up with the a brand new Trello card. So we know that there needs to be some work done there as well. Hope you had a great day and I hope that you find that this was useful.